guys, my name is Alana and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. And if you are returning, thanks so much for coming back and watching another video. Today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite fashion houses and that is Saint Laurent. I thought it'd be interesting if we put together a video talking about some of the best entry level pieces that you can get from this fashion house. And I feel in light of a recent price decrease Saint Laurent has had, it would be good to reassess some of the handbags that they have at their store. If that sounds interesting to you, or if you enjoy fashion, luxury, and handbag content, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already, and let's get into today's video. Okay, so let's talk about some of these entry-level bags from Saint Laurent. Now, as I mentioned, I am quite a big fan of the fashion house, so I do have a few pieces myself, ranging from handbags to accessories to small other goods, and I have my beautiful Sunset YSL bag that is over here, just to give us some eye candy as well. Getting into the first bag that I think is really great for an entry level piece at Saint Laurent, and this is gonna be in no particular order that I list these items, except for the very last bag. I think I'm gonna leave that one as the one that I think is probably your best bet if you're looking for a really great solid starter bag from Saint Laurent. But this first bag is actually going to be the Toy Lulu handbag. Now, what's interesting is that if you had asked me if this bag is a good bag to start your collection with or as an entry level piece to Saint Laurent about three, four months ago, I actually would not have recommended this piece. Now, it is a beautiful style. This is a bag that I've actually had on my wish list for quite some time. Unfortunately, price increase after price increase did happen, and I felt that for what this bag was, it wasn't quite worth the value anymore. But I think Saint Laurent has definitely used a certain tactic to get people back into this particular line as it was one of their best sellers. So this bag used to retail for $2,565 in Canadian and is now actually retailing for $2,255 in Canadian. I feel that they have done this because they wanted to reach a certain clientele. They don't want to cut out the consumer that is looking for their first entry level handbag that is still a little bit more than, for example, like a wallet on chain. This is definitely a full handbag. Now it is a tiny size, it is in the toy size, but I do feel that you can definitely get your essentials in there and it's a great versatile piece as well. This comes with the beautiful quilted puffy leather and it comes with the detachable leather strap as well. I like the leather strap detail because I feel like it gives it a nice everyday look, but then also if you wanted to spruce it up a little bit, use it for the evening time as well, you could always switch out the strap and then put a chain on it instead to make it fit the occasion a little bit more. And again, for this price point, I do feel like you're getting something that is worth it. It is a very popular style. It comes in many colors and it is a good quality handbag. I do also personally love the leather on this piece. It is definitely a bag that I am now considering once again with this new price. The next bag we're gonna talk about is one that I have a variation of in my collection and that is the YSL Metal Assay Flap pouch. Now this one is a really great piece because it comes with a wristlet that as you can see is detachable. This is very similar in look to what is also known as their classic wallet on chain bag with that chevron quilting here and then it has the beautiful durable pebbled leather but notice how I said I am recommending one that is a similar variation to the one I have. I have this piece I love it, but this is actually not the one that I would recommend for you guys for a specific reason. I think because this piece has gained so much popularity, there has definitely been changes made by Saint Laurent to this bag. As you can see, if I turn it to the side, there is quite a bit of depth, in my opinion, for what this bag is, a clutch wristlet. However, in the newer models, they have slimmed it down so it is more of a point at the bottom of the bag, meaning that you're going to be able to fit less of your items into this piece. 
So the piece I would recommend instead is the level up of this piece right here. So there is another version where the quilting and the chevron details is a little bit more intricate than what you have here. And the style is actually a little bit more reminiscent of their envelope bag. And I think it's a stunning style. What I have noticed when I looked on the website is that this bag has not been altered with the bottom piece here. So it is, does not taper at the bottom like the new variation of this piece does. Now this piece currently retails for $990 in Canadian, but to get the more kind of upgraded version, it only retails for $1,025. So in my opinion, for the $35 difference and to get that extra space in here, I would definitely say that it is worth it, seeing as how I personally feel I get a ton of use out of this bag and it's at a great price point, plus it is so versatile. Now, what I'm also gonna show you, although it might be a little difficult to see, I will take it out, I do have a bag organizer in here. And what I will do with this is I will just attach a chain to the D-rings up at the top here and that allows me to use this similar to like a wallet on chain. And that is truly how I get the most use out of this piece. I use it crossbody and quite frankly, because of the detailing on here, you can't really tell that it's any different than the wallet on chain unless you truly know the brand. And another thing too, I'm not trying to claim this is the wallet on chain, but I feel that for the price difference, it is worth it to just go for this piece in my opinion. Now in the YSL price decrease, they did actually decrease the price on their YSL wallet on chains as well. But like I said, you're still saving about three, $400 if you go for one like this. So my opinion, I would say go for one like this to see if you really like the brand. It is still worth it and it's definitely a versatile piece with plenty of colors and variations. So I did say that I'm not really a fan of the classic YSL wallet on chain. However, there is a chain wallet from St. Laurent that I would recommend and that is the Uptown chain wallet. I really love how classic and elegant the look of this is. This does not come with the chevron pattern like most of the YSL pieces that we had talked about do, but I love that this is in the durable pebbled leather. And again, it's just simplistic, but classic as well in its design. I also prefer the side profile of this piece over the classic YSL wallet on chain. And that is because I do feel that you can get more into it in comparison to just the base model of the wallet on chain that is 1385. Now, having said that this piece does cost more, it retails for $1,920 Canadian. However, I do feel like there are still benefits to this piece over the other one. So for example, I really like how in this piece, it doesn't rely on just having card slots at the back interior wall of this piece. I like that you actually get a Saint Laurent card holder that can go in this bag. And then of course you can move it from bag to bag as you please. This is a nice touch and I do feel that this is something that adds additional value to this piece. I also like the way that the space in this bag allows you to carry a bit more than when you look at the classic wallet on chain. Now, in the classic wallet on chain with the chevron patterning, you do have a size up. However, in the size up, it is still more expensive than the uptown. So when you're looking at a piece that's a little bit more comparable in size, the uptown chain wallet is actually still cheaper. And on top of that, I love the fact that you get that card holder in there as well. I think that is such a great detail. This one is also a little less seen in public, in my opinion, which I kind of like and it's still available in several different colors. This one is really a great piece if you're looking for a wallet on chain style from Saint Laurent. Now for the last bag on this list, as I promised, this is the one that I actually think might be the best starter bag from Saint Laurent if you're looking for a kind of entry level piece that you can still get a lot of use out of. That is going to be the Saint Laurent Lou camera bag. Now this piece retails for $2,045 in Canadian, which is an absolutely great price for what you're getting. This bag is all leather. It comes with a leather adjustable strap and it has a beautiful chevron quilting. I love this piece because it is a great day-to-day -day bag as well as it comes with a back pocket. And let's be honest, who does not love a functioning back pocket? On top of that, it also has a great capacity. You can fit a bunch in this piece, 
which would also make it a really great bag if you're looking to do some traveling as well. You could certainly take this to the airport and have all the bits that you need in there. And then also for day-to-day -day traveling or errand running, it will fit things even like a water bottle and your phone comfortably in that new back pocket. So this is a piece that actually I have been considering a lot. It is a piece that I feel like is extremely versatile in terms of its day-to-day -day use. Though the strap cannot be removed on this, I think it prevents it from being a bit more of a dressy bag. But if you're looking for something that you can use more on an everyday basis, this is a really great option to consider. This also comes in various different leathers. This comes in various different colors, depending on the season as well. And again, for this price point, you are just not seeing many full leather bags. And I feel like this is a really great way to dip your toe into St. Laurent if you feel you're a fan of the house. And then from there, you could branch off to some other areas as well. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate all of the support. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel grow and reach more viewers. Also, if you have not already, please be sure to also hit the subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate all of your support. Now, what I would love to know from you guys is what do you think the best entry-level bag from St. Laurent is? And has this recent price decrease affected that opinion at all? I'd love to know what you guys think is a good bag for those who are looking to dip their toes into the water of St. Laurent. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.